So, um, I guess we have to go north now. Northbound we are. It's time to pirouette to the mountains. Because that guard's not going to let you go. Get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, come on now. So, the next area we're going to is uh, Snow Head... Snow Peak? And Those Goron Pissant... Village. Yeah. Yeah. Those Pissant Mountain Towns. <clears throat> Fire Ants on my dick mountain. Beautifully said. You don't know. You don't want to know why they named it that. It's actually because of the human rights violations that went down there after the Geneva Convention was passed. They kept oh, putting fire ar fire ants on people named Richard. Well, yeah. Like Richard Butt, famed visual designer. And so, of course, that was obviously in violation of the Geneva Convention because only one out of so many Richard Butts was actually responsible for the crimes that were, they were being punished for, and so it fell under you know collective punishment. Those bastards. <clears throat> hey, hey, did you not learn anything from the Geneva Convention? Like, 99% of those Richard Butts are innocent. This is true! Our handling of the rights of many a Richard Butt has just been piss poor. The Geneva Conventions didn't have a Madoka booth, so they were pretty bad in my opinion. They definitely had a Madoka booth. What, what, what edge of the con were you at? Were, were you at the part where they had people dressed up as famous civil rights heroes? I missed that part, personally, and honestly, I think as far as uh, conventions go, the Geneva con Convention just wasn't on point. Mm. I don't know, I, mean, I think I mean, they made some good points, though. Yeah, need, but have uh, you guys... We need bombs. Yeah, we need bombs. But have you guys been to Akon? Like, come on now. That one was great, although I was a little confused as to where all the girls were at. Only half as many human rights violations at Akon. Well, not only do I not have bombs, I once again forgot to hit the Clock Town bird statue. Oh god damn it, Rick. You so were right we're by walking it. back. <laughs> you, should, you should go do that now. Go get yeah, your yeah. bombs, go, go get your statues. That looks like a giant dick coming out of Clock Town. It is a giant dick coming out of Clock Town. They moved it from the mountain after those civil rights violations. <laughs> Parktown's terrible fire ant infestation after the transplanting of the giant mountain dick. <laughs> Truly an era in history to be remembered. Really, there was just nothing good about this entire situation. <laughs> no. Um... I guess we can get the bomb mask. Uh, how, how do I skip forward in time? There we go. Mm -hmm. no, no. No, no. No, no. Whoa! So Negative. we've got yeah. uh, about six hours to wait now. Seven awesome. hours. To just Wonder screw around. Do you have any chores to do? Do you guys need to like pick up groceries? Oh. Why are they moving? Oh god. This fucker. It's just not like <clears throat> illusion. You think Skull Kid's the bad this guy is the real antagonist of this game. This I piece of shit. I mean at the very least, that's a fashion crime. That belt with those pants. And he's so happy about his bad fashion sense too. He's just reveling in it. You know how some people just get off on crime? He gets off on being unfashionable. But did you see that bulge in his pants? He's packing, like, a weapon over there, man. Yeah, he better hope that he doesn't run into the law. Because he is clearly armed and dangerous. Oh no. <laughs> oh! He's still happy about it. He gets off on the pain. Is there anything this guy does not get off on? Oh man, we we could have done the bomber thing during the day. I'm oh, fucking it. up all over the place today. Darn it! And the last time we recorded, and in general, I wonder what the exchange rate is for rupees. 
How much is a rupee in U.S. dollars? Um, I can look that up for you actually right now. Oh, that's right. It's a real currency. <laughs> One Indian rupee equals 0 0.017 U.S. dollars. Oh God. <laughs> so Link, you're broke as shit. He, he's a little bit under the weather. He's got about you know, 60 cents. Does this kid ever go to sleep? Where's his mom? His parents are dead! Yeah, they're, they're quintuplet brothers, and they have no parents. Are you sure? Or is that just what they tell you to justify staying out past curfew? Like the South Park episode, where they buy ninja weapons. Yeah, or like the Friends episode, where they buy ninja weapons. Or like the Pokemon episode, where they buy ninja weapons. No, the I ninja weapons were actually just ninja Pokemon. Uh, they weren't actually ninja weapons. They were, uh, they were knight tools, as they, which they sharpened as they ate their jelly donuts <laughs> That's and right. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'd like to make a deposit. Ah, oh, yes, I remember my ass. He gets my so ass happy. is not one to forget. This is true. He's super excited about getting 60 cents. Could you imagine this little kid running around and making bank deposits of 60 cents all the time? That would be adorable. Let's be real. <laughs> it would be. Link, you're a cute kid. <clears throat> He's an adorable kid. He'd probably start up a lemonade stand and make a fortune in quarters. Right? And if he saves up enough rubies, Maybe one day, you'll have four bucks. The dancing guy's not there yet. Damn. Do you think lemonade stands are even profitable? I mean, lemons are like 99 cents, right? How many lemons does it take to make a single cup of lemonade? I mean, if it's a quarter of a lemon for a single cup of lemonade, then you've barely broken even. It really isn't a sustainable business model. No. And I, I think that's the only reason parents let their kids start lemonade stands. Just to teach the little shits that they can't make money. Yeah. Hope you aren't looking forward to having a house in the future, you Gen Y fucks. <sighs> the ancient adage, mo money, mo problems, holds up in the world of Termina as well. What's that even a reference to? I feel like it was like an episode of, of the TM Tamara show. I don't remember what it was called, though, because I never watched it. I think it was Terrence. before my time. I just watched Smart Guy, because he was their brother. Wasn't that oh, Sister God. to Sister? Or something? Yeah. Sister yeah. Sister? <gasps> that bastard! He stole from an old lady! Oh my god. Oh, shit. What, what I love doing is, when you have the bomb mask, you can just go up to him and explode, and he just dies. He flat out dies. <laughs> Promise me that at one point we'll go back in time and do that. Like, and the, the old lady's just like, oh. Because she's, she's delivering bombs. Like. Yeah, so exploding the cargo is probably not a great idea. You saved my bombs. Here's a bomb that will explode whenever you use it. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing, giving explosives to twelve-year-olds. Weapons of mass destruction in the hands of little kids. Well, I mean, you can outright buy bombs from the shop she's delivering to. So... <laughs> oh well, back to my illegal shop. <laughs> Does the Termina government know about this? Are there overheads here? I know there's a mayor. I and... already paid off the fuzz. <laughs> she, she's running a, a racket, keeping the keeping the police paid off so she can sell bombs to little kids. Right. No one fucks with granny bombs. <laughs> so now we can actually go to the uh, to the north, to the mountains. Finally. Basically, infinite bombs right here. Which makes you wonder why they even, like, why why have two bomb items? I mean, well, why have bombs and bomb bombs. shoes, but... Oh, that's and true. And there, there are bomb shoes, too, which are 
not necessary to beat the game, but useful in specific situations. Also, which is cool. hurt you? Yeah, it does some damage. Yeah, that tends to happen when you set off explosives on your face. I mean, kind of a poor uh, design right there, honestly. It's an excellent design. I mean, how else are you going to make sure that it hits the exact spot that you're looking at, aside from attaching it directly to your eyeballs? You have a point. Can't argue with that. Bombs apply directly to the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun Friday night to me. Hitting this so I don't forget. Good call. And we need to go get the Lens of Truth. As as it goes on, I'll I'll remember less and less of this game, and we'll start we'll start getting lost. Scratching our heads a little bit. Scratching my ass. Yep. Contributing to all of this white stuff that's floating down, because as we all know, there is no room in the biome for snow here, and this is all actually just dandruff from previous people who got lost. Well, I mean, the, the Bigorons exist. This could just be Bigoron dandruff. That's right. I mean, they, you, they're hairy motherfuckers. I mean, actually, they're not. Before it was called Fire Ants on My Dick Mountain, it was actually called Goron Dandruff Mountain. Those wolves are out for blood tonight. Calm down. Well, they are wolves. This is true. Don't stereotype wolves, Terrence. Yeah, Terrence. Stereotype on, wolves all damn day. They take up too much of our welfare and jump over our borders using their powerful hind legs. Hello, Mr. Owl. Bum, 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 bum. We're actually pretty close. Ah, oh, damn it. Why can you never be more of a help, Bora Gabor Laura? Oh, oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We messed up. Go ahead, just. Shut up. Keep going. Just go. Come on. Don't got time for this, Mr. Owl. There we oh, go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here we go. How did he manage to drop all of his feathers at exactly the right spot? Pretty amazing. Well, maybe Gabora, Kabora, Mamora, and Gunna is pretty amazing, and you just didn't give him enough credit. It's true, I really didn't. I'm going to bash, explode these rocks with my face. I mean, do you just, like, bang your face into the rocks? Is that how it works? I'm, it's not really clear what the ignition uh, method is on the bomb mask. I mean, the design of the mask itself is pretty lame. I think that Link just kind of blows really hard, and then things just crumble because they're not particularly well designed up here. Makes sense. Oh, hey, another chest. Gotta, gotta open up the chest before they, uh, the Skulltula descends. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. You piece of shit. Dude, your bow is like a hundred times stronger than it was in uh, Ocarina of Time. Got money. Does 99 oh, rupees equal 99 problems, though? I don't know. Um, well, I know that rupees must in proportionally two problems, but they don't necessarily have a one-to-one -one correspondence. Oh, I see. All we know is that it's a, is that the number of problems is a monotonically increasing function of money. So it could be an exponential, it could be logarithmic, it could be linear. More mass, more problems. Yeah, that's what it is. 
Hey, bud, how's it going? Hey, dude. Let me talk to you. Follow me! Why couldn't you roll like a real Goron? Because he has no legs. He ghosts, does! Ghosts have no legs. But he does have legs. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does! They're tiny! Did you not see them? They're there. I swear he's got legs. Oh, I can catch up to him. We'll see. He might have legs, but no feet. It looks like he has no feet. He's gotta have feet. They're tiny feet. No, he has no feet. He does. Stumpy the friendly feet. ghost. He, oh, he doesn't have feet. feet. You're right. Dang. And there's there's not even a texture hiding there. Like you can see, like the uh, the shadow, the texture mapping, like one-sided <laughs> texture mapping, or whatever. Terence knows what I'm talking about. I don't. I'm technologically illiterate. When you view triangles in a counterclockwise or clockwise winding order, respectively, they will not be rendered due to the fact that most meshes are designed to be closed, and therefore you need only render the front-facing triangles in order to see the mesh properly. This breaks down as soon as the mesh is not closed, such as in this case where there is a hole through which you can examine the interior of the mesh. Thank you, Dr. Terrence. You're welcome. For the layman's at home, uh, he's basically saying that the HD pack in Majora's Mask is too strong. Yeah. Exactly. Too strong. Don't download too the strong. HD pack. It will grind your computer to a halt and you'll probably get a virus. It's true. Does he just fly? I think he just flies up. Oh wait, it's even sillier than that, isn't it? Oh no, he he flies up. <laughs> Descend. So which way am I going? Up. Uh, right. Right. Left. Right. Yes. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Which ones do I have to jump on? Those ones, I believe. These ones? No. Oh. It's pretty frustrating. Oh wait, that one moves. The little one moves. The little one. The little one moves. Oh fuck. Oh, we did it. Yeah. Do we make an invisible ladder? What purpose does that have? Um. I don't know. Drawing blanks. An invisible horizontal ladder. It's to keep people from coming up to their house. Their Unless graveyard they have... house? That's Unless right. They have a lens of truth and can climb horizontally. Exactly. I mean, if you think about it, this is some ninja warrior shit. Like, Link is a pretty impressive little kid. Look we'll, we'll at him climb this texture. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck. fuck. Good job, Link. <laughs> Here we go into the snowy cavern of doom. So we can turn into Titty Rockman. Yes! Are you ready for Titty Rockman, Terrence? I am absolutely ready for Titty Rockman. My titties have been waiting for this moment since this morning. Since the weekend. Darmani the Third. What an exotic name, Darmani. His first oh, name is DiGiorgio. It's pretty clear that he never had the time or money for dental health with his six teeth. It's what happens when you eat rocks all your life. <laughs> My scorons. They were originally just like herbivores or something, and then one day one of them was just like, Ah! Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have some fucking rocks, man! Whoa, dude. That song is like tripping me out, man. The song of motion blur. <laughs> 
We all love you, Darmani. Woo, well, Darmani, look at my tits. Oh my God. He starts throwing Mardi Gras beads up. See, all, all the Darmani is different because he has nipples. All the regular Gorons don't have nipples. Exactly. He is a member of the superior nipple wielding cast. And then he just throws sparkles everywhere. Katy Perry's firework begins to play. <laughs> and then he leaves behind a facsimile of his face from when he was a youth. You should read my grave. His grave Cause... literally tells you how to play as a Goron. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Time to save the village. With the... Uh... Whoa! Let's see here. Wrong button. Water. Hot water. Gorons don't occur. I like how he still has his, uh, hat, though. Can't get rid of that between forms. Gorons are basically vertical Beyblades. Or horizontal yeah. Beyblades. Whichever orientation Beyblades are, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And much like my child in Beyblades, it's covered in very dangerous objects. The logistics of how you grow spikes when you roll is never quite explained. Oh, it's magic spikes. Yeah, oh, that's right. So you use magic to do it, right? So the spikes are just magic. A wizard did it. This is like grade 2 bullshit. There it is. Ah. Yeah. So silly. That tiny bottle of water can melt all that ice. It's true, if you just apply it properly. You know, liquid water has an incredible heat capacity. If you take a ice filter and you put it in an oven, it won't melt as fast as submerging it in liquid water. Hmm. I've been made a fool of! With your knowledge of water. No, no, it's okay. How much water still wouldn't do it. That's just bullshit. <laughs> It's not going to do you any good. Come on. Leave me the fuck alone. Ah, oh, damn it. I missed a step. Rick. You're killing Miss Smalls. Smalls? Yes. Isn't bit. You're gonna bring a Biggie again? I am. Biggie is a recurring theme on this cat channel. How the hell did you turn into a snowball? <laughs> Why can't I move? Oh, there we go. There we go. No. So I think I'm gonna have to scale that wall to get more uh, hot spring water. Darn it. It's the baby's cry. Whoa! You can't hear it, but there's a baby crying. A Goron baby. We'll hear it when we're watching. Dang. Hey, chuckle fuck. That's actually his name. His parents thought it was beautiful. In the Goron language, it means the rising sun. Look at I the think... graphics on that kid crying, though. I think now I can go get it. The booty bump. Uh, uh. There we go. You want that shit? <laughs> um. So yeah, I am pretty sure that we have to go up that wall again. Darn it. It's okay. We'll get there. We got that Goron roll. Gotta go fast. 
Just couldn't get inside fast enough, could you? No, you, you can use a tiny bottle of water to melt all that ice, but you can't, like, break the ice open with your fucking fire fists. Right? With the force of, uh, Megaton of fucking... Yeah, yeah what you're trying to say. What I'm oh, trying fuck. to say. Fuck. Oh, come on. Yeah, no. Oh. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. You're doing wonderful. Don't let yourself get discouraged. Yeah, Rick, believe in yourself. Cause that's the way to start. And I said, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. To laugh and run and play. And get along with these Gorons. Yo, Danny Fenton, he was just 13. I thought he was 14. I don't fucking know how old Denny Fenton was. You think I'm the member of fucking Denny Fenton fan club? Yes. Because, you know, if you find anyone on that website with a username that's like mine, it's purely a coincidence. So what do you say? Just don't know what to say, Terrence. Danny Fenton fan club members are notorious liars. They have to defend his secret as a ghost. Well, I, for one, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, because he's not a ghost, he's a normal teenager trying to live a normal life in high school, a time in people's lives when they're going through much turmoil, and they don't need your bullshit talking lies about them behind their back, you backstabbing asshole. Ooh, Terrence, your words, they hurt. Leave my living room. Oh, but we were having fun. Sorry, you can come back. Okay. It's just a common misconception about Danny Fenton anyways. Yeah. As long as you don't talk shit about Danny Fenton, I'm perfectly fine with you being there. Yeah. See, he wasn't a ghost at all. It was just really, really rough puberty. Absolutely. Really, really rough puberty that allowed him to move through walls sometimes, which I'm sure we've all gone through. You know, you apply a little clarisol to that and it's fine. Sorry, what are we talking about? Um, Danny Phantom? Sorry, Phantom. Ah, why did I say Phantom? Hey, he was just 14. 14. His parents built a very strange machine. Is that true? I thought he was 13. Clearly, I'm not a particularly good fan. No, you're a terrible fan. But that's okay. Melt this asshole again. The machine was designed to see a world unseen. Hmm. I think this guy needs to see a world unseen, or at least brush back those bangs. <laughs> What? He's breathing all over your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! There's just fog all over your nipples right now. Nipple gas. <laughs> Foggy nipples. <laughs> the nipples in the mist. Look at dark. Look at your blank stare. He's just like. Just soulless. Just like no heart behind it. You hate everything. Please remove this man from my nipples. Oh god. Ode oh, to Nipples. It was actually the name of the song before production. He's just got an N64 controller inside of his drum. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A, left, right. A, left, right. No, left, that's right, left. left. That's right, left, Terrence. Oh, clearly I'm not a very good Danny Phantom fan. Fuck! Fuck! Matt, nailed it. Okay. There we go. That was the try right there. Third time's the try. Exactly. And look how bl <laughs> you're going fucking Blitzkrieg on those freaking drums. Oh, well, this dude is moving ever closer to your nipples. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to interact with that guy ever again. He's just going to stay frozen. Until we for the rest nipple. of the game. And your nipples are painful. Nipples so, couldn't care less. So he literally gives us all but the last two notes of the song. It's, uh... Man. 
And I imagine that process of elimination is too good for this game. Yep. Found him through. Ah, shit. Fuck. 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 Because why would you walk anywhere? When you this is why Professor Oak doesn't let you use a bicycle indoors. <laughs> this isn't the time or place for that. Look at his rockin' hairdo, though. He's the only Goron that wears pants. Yeah. Well, the other Gorons are content to just shit anywhere, but this kid's got dignity. I think this is like the longest song you learn in any Legend of Zelda. I think Allergy of Emptiness is more complex. It's yeah. definitely not complex, but... What the fuck is eight notes? They're only supposed to be six notes. There is that one point during Ocarina of Time when you have to perform the entire Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> I think the Fire Temple song is, uh... Bolero of Fire is pretty long, too. It, it's eight notes. It's da -da 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 -da. That's eight. Nobody plays that song, though. Yeah, he wants to go to a shitty volcano. Right. And he dies and turns into a fucking rock. Born Lullaby is basically the Jigglypuff song. Sweet. Time to draw dicks on all their faces. Yes! <laughs> Best part of the game! And your two options are both pound and return, both moves that Jigglypuff is able to learn. So now we are ready to take on the, uh, the dungeon. The dungeon. Yeah. Dungeon. Time really flies. 